In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own DIY wall backdrop. This backdrop we did on wheels so that when I am painting my furniture, I can spray on the backside. And when I need to get good pictures, I have this. I have not painted it yet. I'm going to be doing that very soon, but it's done. It works great. And I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like with furniture in front of it. Before we got to building, I ran to Home Depot and grabbed all of our supplies, which I will have listed in the description. Now, I don't use power tools on a daily basis, but I'm trying to learn. And luckily my husband's a carpenter, so I have a good teacher. I'm also new at making YouTube videos, so be patient with me as I try to learn both how to use power tools and make YouTube videos. Anyway, back to building. I started by making the base, which included the wheels. I wanted this backdrop to have two purposes, be dual sided. <laughs> I wanted one side that I could take pictures up against and one side that I could spray furniture up against. Once the bottom was all ready to go, we started building our frame. I made my backdrop about 75 inches tall and eight feet long. Depending on how much space you're working with, you can make yours bigger or smaller. To make sure this wall was nice and safe and sound, we added supports in each corner. Once the frame was ready to go, we added a couple more studs in between to give us something to nail these panels into. Now we got working on the panels since the frame was ready to go. To make sure we were cutting straight, we used this little chalk line to make sure we were cutting straight. I'm new at this, guys. Did I mention that? I know I did mention that I'm new at power tools, and this one I just wasn't comfortable with. Baby steps, folks. Baby steps. When the panels were all cut and ready to go, we used some construction adhesive to make sure that these things wouldn't go anywhere. Plus, a couple nails wouldn't hurt. Once everything was nailed in and secure, I went over the nail holes with a little bit of caulk, as well as the seam down the middle, to make sure it was seamless. To finish off the backdrop, I decided to paint it using my Home Right Super Finish Max. For the paint, I am using Sherwin-Williams Pro Classic in Pure White. I added about 10% water just to make sure my paint flows through really nicely. Before you start spraying your paint, you wanna make sure you're testing your settings. Once your settings are all dialed in, you are ready to start painting. Make sure you go slow, take your time, and overlap your spray pattern by about 50%. Using a paint sprayer gives you a flawless look. Not only that, but it makes your project go by so much faster. And here it is. Here is my DIY backdrop wall on wheels. As a furniture refinisher, taking stage pictures is very important. And now I won't have to carry them in my house, saving myself from injury and my walls from dents. And now that it's on wheels, I will be able to flip it very easily, painting furniture against this side here. And then when I'm ready to stage and take pictures and videos of my finished furniture, I just flip the wall around and it's good to go. Now to add just a little bit more to the wall, I grabbed an eight foot baseboard that I painted white and this vinyl roll flooring that I grabbed from Home Depot. Now when I take pictures and videos, you'll never know that this is in a dirty old garage. Well, I guess now you'll know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to see more and I will see you guys next time.